back to full coverage. Hi, you guys. It's your favorite podcast. With your favorite host. With your favorite host, you're adding a lonely. Imagine I talk right. like that the whole time. Then we wouldn't have a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine I literally, that was just my normal like cadence of speech. Well, we'll we would work speech. on it. We would work on it. I don't know. I'm a little hyper. That's like, that's I think the Together. problem. I had a sweet tea and it wasn't the smartest move. It shook you. It, I, you guys, Laura introduced me to sweet tea, like mm-hmm. I would say a few years back now. Mm-hmm. And I've never been the same. It'll get you good. And it got me really good. And I honestly feel like I have sweet tea flowing through my veins. I wish you had like it in the south at every restaurant like i always have laura told me that in the south like it's normal like literally sweet every tea is restaurant everywhere. everywhere is that really how it is because that's not how it is here it's really messed up in california because if you ask them where do you have sweet tea they'll be like oh yeah and they'll bring you like some raspberry an iced tea, an iced tea with no iced sugar tea. or some raspberry peach crazy tea and i'm like but it doesn't taste like sweet it's it not the same horrible thing. it's awful it's traumatizing okay traumatizing trauma. is a little strong trauma <laughs> it gives me trauma the first sip was trauma comment down below if, if it's you're trauma. from the south and like you know what good sweet tea is comment let me comment <laughs> Let me go in and comment. So I feel like I, Laura's made me sweet tea, so I feel like I actually know sweet tea now. I make pretty good homemade sweet tea. You do. It's really good. And actually, I've made it because she's made it for me. Like, it's I know easy. how to do it. It's like pretty simple. It's not hard. It's not hard. That's why I get frustrated. With me? No, no, no. With restaurants. <laughs> I'm like, what I do now? <laughs> with restaurants. God, because it's not hard to do. It's not hard. It's not hard. But luckily, McDonald's does sweet tea. And so I'll just snag it from there sometimes. It's all supply and demand. People just don't demand the it Chick-fil-A here. Chick-fil-A sweet tea. <gasps> Ooh, the Chick-fil-A sweet tea. It's so it's good. Manny, it's so sure it's so sure good. good. If you want to taste good sweet tea, there's just try that. Go to Chick-fil-A. It's or bomb. McDonald's, honestly. Or, they're both but, great. But sometimes McDonald's. It's too sweet. Sometimes they put too much sugar, y'all. Sometimes McDonald's sweet tea will send me into literal cardiac arrest. <laughs> And I can't physically it's, do it's it. It's shocking. If I don't do a boba that day, I'm doing sweet tea. Like Got it. End. That's your energy. The little, end. that's your energy. little treat. I need, I need the boost. You need it's like the a, treat. It's like my version of like a little <gasps> a bump. Manny! <laughs> it's not a bump. It's not that. Okay, listen. I've never done that before ever. <laughs> it's just funny to think that. That's, it's I'm like, not it's a... energy. Bumps are energy. I think that's what, that's what people do it for. Tyler, come get him or something. He's over here. Tyler's like, Jesus Christ. And he's over here talking about doing bumps. That's what podcasts this are This is for. a whole nother podcast now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's episode of Full Coverage. You guys, BetterHelp is a gorgeous website that it's basically, mm-hmm. it's not a crisis line, not a self-help line. It's a professional counseling done securely online that you can go to and just feel like you're going to get amazing professional help without feeling like the judgment of, you know, going, going into in. a store mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. a facility. <laughs> it's safe. You can connect online and it's a super private environment. Plus, it's super convenient. You can also start communicating in under 48 hours. I love that they do this. I think it's really awesome. I think that having a place to go to get professional counseling without feeling like the fear of judgment going into somewhere is really, really cool. And I think that it's something that could be so like revolutionary for so many people that don't want to leave their house. I agree completely. They have licensed professional counselors who specialize in depression, stress, anxiety, relationships, sleeping, trauma, and so, so much more. I want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash full coverage. You can join over a million people who have taken charge of their mental health. And again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash full coverage. You guys, so you probably heard of microdosing. If you search around a bit on the internet, you find all sorts of people microdosing to feel healthier and perform better. And you guys, today we are sponsored, of course, by Microdose Gummies. Microdose Gummies basically deliver perfect entry-level doses of THC that helps you feel just the right amount of good. So you can use them to get zoned in, get creative, get especially late at night, or help you even chill out and sleep like a baby. They're 10 out of 10. And not only that, like they actually taste good. So they have a little deal for you guys. Microdose is available nationwide. To learn more about microdosing THC, just do a quick search or go to microdosegummies.com and use the code FULL to get free shipping and 30% off your first order. The links can be found in the description of the show. But again, that's microdosegummies.com, code FULL. Okay, guys, so today's episode, we actually thought it would be really, really fun to go and dive in on your guys' secrets. Yes. Laura asked on her IG and was like, yo, if you guys... 
want to send us some secrets. This is like us going back to OG of <laughs> us podcast days. Yeah. Uh, swearing that we're not only 24 episodes. I'm like, our OG <laughs> podcast days. We really try it. But we tried it. But in the beginning, we literally were doing like secrets and advice every single episode. So I'm yeah. like, let's bring back some secrets. So we're going to do an episode of secrets. If you guys see me peeking at my phone, that's what I was doing kind of in the intro. I'm Scrolling trying to get some, secrets. I'm getting some okay, ready. Screen I'm prepping. I actually haven't seen any of the secrets. Uh-uh. So this time you actually posted about Yay. it. And I'm going to be hearing it for the first time, whereas you've seen it and you're going to be exposing me. Okay, wait. So the first one, she says it's Wait, not- we have to do our, our, our pe- a peak and pot. Oh, gosh. What? I what already forgot. A peak and pit of the day. Peak and or pit. week. Peak and pit peak of and the week. We thought it'd be kind of fun to start off with a peak and pit. Of the week. Which is like your highest and your lowest. Your highs and your lows. So. <laughs> Why did I say peak and pot? Manny will begin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so should I do my good or my bad? So we'll do good first. Always good news first. Good. For, so I'll do it good, and then you do your good, and then we'll do bad, and then bad. Okay, perfect. Yep. Okay, so my first thing that was good, I actually went on a date <gasps> with a different person. I always get really excited. You guys, I be feel, and I be feeling y'all in on the like about the like dates. Like you guys I, are hearing my dates dating life. I hope your dates know mine, and I hope they know that every time you go on the date. The internet will hear them because we be talking. I really hope that they don't mind. Um, I doubt it. I don't think that they do well, because I'm not saying say anyone's names name. or what exactly was done. But we went to dinner. Honestly, I had a really, really great time. It wasn't like my last <gasps> day where I was like, didn't really feel that immediate connection. This time I actually did feel it. Oh, So I'm like, okay, this is kind of cool. Like I just feel this like spark and I wanted to kiss him at the end of the night. <gasps> so if I, if I want to kiss you at the end of the night, I know it went it's well. It's on. I, we it's didn't on. kiss. Okay. Because I mean, it was just like our first day. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not like the type that's like, Trying to get into your pants on the first day. I'm just you not didn't that person. You didn't want to move in. No, and I'm also like very like, yo, if I if I feel like a good connection, I want to take it a little slower. I'm not trying to just fuck. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to do that. So I'm like, let me just take this a little slower. Um, Where'd but, you guys eat out of curiosity? Mercado. Our friendship has <laughs> just ended on the air. <laughs> you guys, Mercado is one of our... That's our spot. Spots. He took a date to our <laughs> to spot. our date spot. To our date spot. You guys, I've been to Mercado now like twice in the last month because we went with Rare Beauty. <laughs> Let's go again. <laughs> Mercado is just like honestly one of our favorite spots because it's so fucking good. They got, it's like a unique Mexican restaurant. It's so good. And like mm-hmm. they just have like really good dishes that are authentic, but still like high end. What's the margarita I get there? The spicy marg. But it, yeah, it's spicy, maybe grapefruit or like, it's like, it's like a peach color, but it's spicy yes, marg. I know exactly what you're talking you know about. What I'm talking I don't about? know what it's called. I don't either, but it's but delish. It's, it's delish. Um, For you. I don't drink it, but they I know you like it. three in LA. If you guys haven't eaten at Mercado. They're fire. They're fire. There's they're one in good. Santa Monica. One in Hollywood. Hollywood in downtown. Yep. They're bomb. They're really, really good. But we went there and we had a really great time. I really uh, just genuinely had like a really fun time. And that makes um, me I'm so hoping happy. we do a date number two. Like I'm actually excited for date number two. Oh my gosh. So it's we'll see happening. how it goes. We'll see how it's it goes. Happening. I'll keep you all filled. I'll keep the fools filled in. Please. Fooled filled in. Full. What's your peak of the week? Um, I have a lot of peaks. Okay. Um, Miss America. <laughs> What the fuck? I've had a lot of peaks this no, week. No, I'm just saying a lot of good stuff has happened. Yeah, no, absolutely. A lot of good. I'll say one that's like, I don't want to say this isn't a big peak, but it was just like a nice peak. Um, Me and Aaron went on a nice walk on Sunday and I just, we get so busy sometimes mm-hmm. and I don't get to spend a lot of quality time with her. She's getting ready for life after, after high school. So, mm-hmm. and I'm balls to the walls all the time. So mm-hmm. on Sunday she came in and she was like, I'm going on a walk and i was like i'm going with you mm-hmm. like we're doing it together we're doing it together i love going on walks i go all the time but she doesn't ever go with us so yeah. me and her because ty was golfing we went on a walk and literally just listened to a 18 year old talk about 18 year old things i just like caught up a good two hours yeah it's like cute like catch up i love two it two hours though. on a walk for two hours uh, oh yeah honey y'all walk the grand canyon Sure, no. That, I'm like, God damn, I can barely walk for 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> We've been getting it. And I, I love though. listening to her talk. She's so funny. It's just fun listening to such a young person with all like their ideas mm-hmm. and like their thoughts on things because it's so youthful and funny and, and precious. So I love talking to her and I love just also, she's like so sweet. So it's oh, like yeah. fun to hear her thoughts. I love it. And like her aspirations, her, her goals, aspirate. what she wants to do with life. Uh, it's so all cute of it. just because. You know, and I always try to give her all the advice I can, not that she'll probably take much, but 
Um, I always try to, so I get to do that on Sunday. But it's also cool because it's like at 18, you have your whole life ahead of you. She doesn't, but when you're 18, you don't, you don't know that. You don't realize it. And so but like, she that's has what it like is. all these concrete plans mm-hmm. and like ideas of life and people. And it's just, I never like, I'm not like, you're wrong. You know, sometimes I correct her, but you know, I let her enjoy her youth and like have those thoughts and like totally. learn life herself, figure out life herself a bit. I think that's like that's exactly like what it should be. Yeah. Like, you know, you're guiding her, but she still has to sink or swim on her own. Exactly. You're just going to be there to help give her some floaties if she needs them. Exactly. You know, so. and I think that's really, really, really good. Yeah, that was a um. Your peak. That was my peaks. peak. I love that. That's so cute. Yeah. Um. Okay. Pits. Pit. Fuck. Give us a pit. Pit. I would say one of my. You know what? One of my pits. So, I was eating some tacos. Uh oh. And I was just chewing on regular. Diarrhea. I broke my fucking <gasps> bracket. No. On the top. So I have like. A permanent, re- a permanent retainer that's like attached to my f- two front teeth. Mm-hmm. I broke the right one, mm. and it got like completely detached. I'm like, <gasps> oh. and so like the thing is the problem with my teeth is they move pretty quickly. So oh. I literally was like, I need to come in immediately right now to the dentist. To the dentist. So I went in the next, the following day, and my my mouth was already starting to form a little baby gap in the right front two teeth. Oh, so really? they had to put stakes next to my teeth here <gasps> to push the front two teeth together. So they can glue it down again. That is so crazy. And they're like, so how, how are your retainers looking? Because it seems like you're like kind of tense in the mouth. I'm like, oh, like there's some holes in them. And they're like, there shouldn't be any holes in them. Like, oh. And I'm biting through. I'm like clenching through my retainers. Teeth grinding. Like teeth grinding. Mm. Which is weird because I can't like, obviously I'm doing it when I'm sleeping. I don't even are know I'm stressed? doing it. I'm not like, I'm not more like stressed than usual. I'm like just oh. usually stressed. But I've been, I guess apparently I've been grinding for like a long time. So my body's just used to it. Wow. But I've been grinding through my retainers. Dude. Dang. So I'm like trying to keep my teeth as like intact as fucking possible. Oh my gosh. And the problem is I, I once grinded so bad. This is before I wore retainers. I ground so bad that I woke up the next day, couldn't move my jaw. It was, no. it was so tense that I literally couldn't bite down <gasps> or like move it or open my mouth. Like as if I literally had like locked jaw. Wow. Wow. So luckily it wasn't that bad or that's that point. It hasn't been like that since I started wearing a retainer. But if you ever like, if you guys ever have like anything like that, like where you've been clenching or like they tell you like, hey, you've been grinding and like wear a fucking retainer because I swear to God, like there's nothing more horrible than like teeth and like neck pain, like in that oh area, like not being able to move or like do you don't even realize how much you need that. Or how much you use it. Or how much you use it until mm-hmm. you can't. And you're like, wait, and I literally, I was taking like, strong fucking medicine to help me because it was no. like beyond and i'm like actually pretty good with pain like i'm not the most like i have like a higher t- pain tolerance than i would think yeah but like it was fucked wow so now i'm like fuck okay i gotta go back do all is that it thing. better so now really the pain the pain yeah no the pain is like completely gone and my brackets glued down okay but no, i just have to be a little more cautious because now i have holes in it <gasps> so imagine like so now i have holes in it we're not literally just do the exact same thing because there's holes in the spots. Oh my god! So now I'm gonna start grinding my teeth again. No, you're not. I think so. So now I have to get new retainers. Oh my goodness! So that's probably one of my pits of the fucking week. It's so fucking annoying. Ugh, that's super super. It's annoying. so stupid. I would be devastated. Yeah, it's I annoying. I hate all teeth things. I hate. It's the worst. I love my dentist. I hate going. Of, dude, like it's who like, like loves going to the dentist? Though? I like, don't know. Who loves to I go? Can't. I don't want to fucking go. I can't. Like, well, I don't my teeth Unless are my dentist was, Oh, I will say my dentist is kind of fun. Uh, why don't you go on a date with him? Because he's straight and married and kids. <laughs> but the thing is, like, I was like, I was gonna say, I'm like, well, if my dentist is fine, I'd love to go. But like, my dentist is fine, and I still don't love to go. Yeah, my dentist is fine too. She's a straight married lady, but Aww. she's beautiful. She's stunning. She's stunning. I, 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 I love it, but I still don't want to go the, and yeah. deal with the drilling and same. stuff like that. Exact same. It's torture every time. It's torture. It's torture. I just don't want it. I don't hate it. Well, my pit um, for the week is like, honestly, kind of lame. I was trying to think of something, but I will tell you, <laughs> after Kristen's it? birthday, I don't know how I went to sleep that night. Why? I couldn't turn my head the next day. No way. Yeah, and my neck, I, you know I have a bad neck. Yes, because you have a long neck. I have an extremely long Laura neck. Get, like things like get tweaked on her neck pretty often. Actually. They actually do. That's yeah. actually true. Like yeah. This is pretty common for me to have like a day with neck issues. My dad did too. Because he had a long ass neck. We neck have too. the exact same neck, mm-hmm. so he used. That has to, to be it, right? Like it's like the long neck. Like you have too much. Like there's too I much like head and hair. Yeah. On the little neck. I don't know how it is. Like, do you need to build up your neck muscles? I- like, I don't get it. <laughs> I bet you like. <laughs> That's probably why my neck hurts because I'd be acting like you'd be that. acting a fucking feel like a pigeon. So and honestly, I was like, did I dance crazy with my neck, or I was like, did and when we were filming TikToks at Kristen, mm-hmm. I was like, did I do something with my neck, like? 
<laughs> no, I don't. I don't. I no. don't remember seeing you ever. No neck jerking action. your neck. No jerking. No neck. jerking. <laughs> so wait. So what, was it like bad? Like where you couldn't move it, or was it like? Yes, uh, I got really bad. I got stiff, and no. when I was on my walk with Aaron, my neck was stiff. Like literally, turned one way the whole time. No, and you couldn't turn like that. Yeah, way. Yeah, stiff, honey. Stiff neck. You like like I was saying with like the mouth thing. It's like you don't even realize how much oh. you need that movement. That's that's exactly what it was. And you're like. I'm actually fucked right now. Like yeah. you don't even realize how fucked it is. That's what it was. I was wrecked. And I'm like, dad gum. By the way, guys, I sleep on a pillow. How thin is my pillow? <laughs> you guys, this haunts me. So Laura's pillow is as thin as, as pillow. my nail. Yeah. <laughs> like it's a piece of tissue paper. <laughs> Laura's pillow is squished like as if it was pan a, think of like the density of a pancake yep. that's like laura's pillow that's my pillow and what if what if you need a better pillow no i've always let me tell Bro. you i that's how that saves my neck those pillows like that <laughs> <laughs> it does why do you have a swan goose neck I right now a, think okay if you, you haven't have seen a my neck, neck think of a goose's neck no i'm literally imagining a goose <laughs> And I'm imagining like a, a like a llama. Literally, a like llama. A, like what do you do that? Honestly, I look like I favor a llama. <laughs> <laughs> when Laura does the side jaw it's thing, a, look at the camera and do it. That's a llama, and you cannot tell me otherwise. <laughs> I have the big beady eyes. Too. Yeah, like, <laughs> and the neck. I give llama vibes, and what it's llamas? Very llama llamas sleep on really thin pillows. No, they fucking. <laughs> <laughs> but I give mom a vibe. So right. the pillows have always helped me. But if I, I mean, occasionally I'll sleep on my neck wrong and be sore. But whenever I travel, don't I not sleep with a pillow? Yep. No pillows. Nothing because like, always in the hotels are always way too thick. Honey, my God. It's like Mount I Everest. Tra I travel with my pillow. Like I need to have my pillow with me at all times. I occasionally do if the trip is more than four days. If mm -hmm. not, I do not prefer to leave. Pack one. To pack my pillow. I like yeah. my pillow to be on my bed and not Imagine at a you hotel bed. It at the hotel. <gasps> um, that happened That's to me. That's my worst nightmare. That happened to me whenever we were going across country from Alabama to California. We stayed no. in the worst hotel I've ever stayed in. Me and no. Tyler literally held hands and were like, this is it. Like, no. this is it. Because that was the only hotel open. And it was like four in the morning. So I brought my pillow in every night to sleep because uh -huh. it was with me because I was moving. Yeah. And I left it at the worst hotel that we stayed at. I left it and moved to California. Did they send it to you? Baby, there was no reception at this hotel. Uh -uh. So it was like that. It was like, Ty, it was can deadly. you throw in some information really quickly about this? I'm pulling it. Would I'm pulling, you like I'm to pulling contribute it. to this hotel situation? Was it bad, Tyler? Was it actually that bad? Or are you, is she being dramatic? No, she's actually not being dramatic. Oh, this was terrible. There was literally carved into the um, elevator wall, like the door. No, it no. said an eye for an eye. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> like, st the staff at the front desk was smoking a cigarette inside and was like. We also did walk in at like three in the morning. Yeah, and Can we like, all get tattoos that say an eye for an, an eye? eye, for an I'm, eye. Like, I'm like so down. Honestly. I think that's what we deserve at this point. Yeah, we, this we walked rate. in, the guy's like smoking a cigarette, like looking at us like we're crazy. He's like, what like, do you want? Yeah, and this was like, definitely like a crack hotel. And I'm not <gasps> being like, like, People were doing drugs in this hotel. It's a drug. Yes. Hotel. Like you, like you it knew. Like that's yeah. literally like what was happening. We're not trying to just lightly say that. Like, like it's like, a, oh, it's like a crack was, hotel. Like there was like some sort of convention happening in crack. town, so it was the only hotel, hotel we could find. And <gasps> here's the thing: we booked a hotel, and they gave away our reservation because we came in so late at three in the morning. Got yeah. it. And so they thought you weren't coming. Even though in at we all. paid for it, so they assumed we weren't coming, so we lost the reservation. So we were left driving Fucking around idiots. at three in the morning in a U-Haul, and we ran into like this literal yeah. crazy. And we parked like behind a dumpster and just prayed our car we wasn't going to get broken no. into. I had made peace that I wouldn't have my car any of my belongings <laughs> once I left the car because I'm telling you this shit wasn't right. That poor pillow. That pillow. <laughs> I, like living, pillow. I like how you guys it say pillow. That pillow was, is it's living. Pillow. It's I love pillow. how you guys say it. It's pillow. It's pe you guys say pillow. <laughs> Wait, what do you say? No, no, no. You guys say pillow. Pillow. It's pillow. 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 But I love pillow. That pillow is living in That pillow is having a different experience. Oh, now. the pillow is devastated. <laughs> oh yeah. Laura the pillow it. has had many crack people on it for sure. All right. Well, we're gonna take a break. The way you literally went from like cackle to oh, we're gonna take a break. Tyson. Laura always looks like, shook at me when I'm telling her that it's break time. Guys. She looks like I'm giving her like the worst news ever. No, literally, she's like. <gasps> <laughs> craziest fucking shit. I'm like, like Laura, are you okay? Let's make it nonchalant, Laura. <laughs> no, literally, Laura's like... <laughs> 
please rewind to her do face. It every right time Ty warns me when there's a break because I can see him through the glass, and every time it shocks me. <laughs> You'll get used to it one day, Laura. Twenty five like, episodes baby, in, we gotta take a break. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Psychopath. We'll be back after these words. We'll be right back. Thank you to Factor for sponsoring this portion of full coverage. So winter's supposed to be hibernation time, and I do stay at home a little bit more in the winter time, and. I, but I, yes, you do. Yeah. <laughs> and so do I. <laughs> but I get it, you know, you know, I don't like to spend too much time in the kitchen. Mm-hmm. So luckily there is Factor. It's a meal plan or meal prep and it's super easy. You can order and it just comes right on in. We love an easy, simple meal plan and prep yes. service. You guys, Factor makes it easy for me to eat clean 24 seven with fresh, never frozen prepared meals that are honestly super good and delicious you wouldn't believe that they're actually good for you the best part is they're ready to eat in two minutes honey that's faster than ordering baby that's (laughs) when i go in those lines that's Uh, they be taking some time so the fact that this is healthy a healthier option and it's quicker is truly iconic you guys can head to go.factor75.com slash full120 and use code full120 to get $120 off. That's code full120 at go.factor75.com slash full120 for $120 off. Thank you to Flex for sponsoring this portion of full coverage. So with periods, I like period and leak protection that is eco-friendly. We love that. Eco-friendly everything. I'm sorry. Eco-friendly everything. Mm-hmm. And now you can have a product that looks out for your body and your lifestyle and the planet. And that's Flex. They have period products that are easy to use, body safe, and made for all day comfort. I love that, you guys. I think that's really awesome. And do you know what's cool? Like the last episode we did, I uh, actually had several comments. I saw several comments about people like using Flex and how much they loved it. And, you know, I personally don't have somewhere you can put a Flex. You know <laughs> what I mean? But the fact that it is something that is eco-friendly and, and good for the planet, I truly think is absolutely incredible. I do too. I think it's so cool. I saw a lot of comments as well. People really excited about it. The Flex Cup, it's reusable. They have the menstrual cup and it's number one ranked by Cosmo in 2020. We love it. We love it, honey. So with Flex, they have the Flex Disc, which is a single use Flex Cup, which you can use multiple times. So you guys, we have a little deal for you guys on the mm. Flex. So say goodbye to Cram's Put sex back on the table and lend Mother Nature a hand with Flex. You can do it all. Go to flexfits.com slash full and use code full for 20% off Flex Disc Starter Kits or 10% off your first Flex Cup. Plus free U.S. shipping. That's code full to save on Flex at flex, F-L-E-X, fits.com slash full. Woo! We are back. Hey. Now that Laura's not traumatized by the 15 minute mark. I got up the trauma. <laughs> I got past it and we're back. Now that the trauma is done, we are back and we're going to move on to <laughs> reading off your guys and reacting to your guys' secrets. Okay. So I'm scared. I'm actually really scared. These are always fun, but they're always like, I worry. The first one, I think you're going to like because, well, okay, okay. first of all, she goes, it's not a secret. <laughs> it's not great, a secret, but it's still great. good. It's still good. Not a secret, but should I be mad at my boyfriend of four years for using my credit card to buy my birthday gift? We're in our mid-twenties. I also pay the credit card bill. Um, Tyler just, what? Tyler, Tyler just, Tyler just, Tyler just huh? wait, um, Ty, Tyler, the sound I, think, I, think, I think Tyler actually needs to be part of this one because he's get in there. a hubby. He's a hubby. We're going to, I'm, I'm pulling these on fully. Um, what the fuck? That's the biggest no-no ever. ever. I've, I've ever heard in my whole existence. In my life. Um, so you're telling me that he used your credit card for your gift and your money for your gift. Here's the thing. If he doesn't what? have money to buy a gift, that is no excuse. He can take Make you on one. a picnic in the park. Make Go to Michael's. Go Maybe to Michael's. my boy wanted air miles, you know? Oh. oh my God. Not the fucking air miles, Tyler. Are you kidding me? No, but seriously, maybe you want it. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely not. It's probably no, would be her getting okay. the air miles. It's no, her absolutely. credit card. No, I don't think that's okay. That's absolutely. Girl, uh, that's a gift you I would yourself. be like, this. that's a conversation. That's a conversation. That's, I wouldn't say like necessarily break up, but that's definitely a conversation to be like, hey, what the fuck was that? I'm going to tell you this, whether you believe it or not, and this goes to the person saying it or maybe someone experiencing, you're worth more than that. Mm-hmm. And if you don't think you are, you are. Uh-huh. Speak up. Speak up. 
<laughs> the way that just slid down your fucking <laughs> neck. I need an instant replay. Oh. <laughs> Do you see that? <laughs> the headphones it guys choked, choked her me out. out. The headphones just choked Laura out. They slid off oh my, my head. Oh my gosh, no, that's honestly like really just not okay. It's just not that's okay. That's a fuck no. It's just from like, me. Yoink. And it's a fuck no from Laura. And it's a fuck no from Tyler. <laughs> oh, are you ready to die a little bit? I'm scared. <gasps> Karen and Sebastian Korean are barbecue? at Korean barbecue right now. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm fucking jealous of you both. I'm devastated. Karen, you know what's so cute? Karen comes down on one of our recent um, episodes. No, be sure. I'll be like, we want brisket immediately. We're dead. No, it was really, it was really sweet. I saw Karen comment on one of our podcasts recently. I saw her comment. She listens. I was just like, <laughs> I want Sebastian to come on with her. They're so. Oh cute my god, together. that would be so cute. She's like been on it already with with yeah. us. We need her and That'd be and fucking Seba. perfect. I would love that. I would love to hear about like their life, their vibes yeah, together. They're really cute together. They're so cute. Okay. Next All right. One. Next one. I sucked my thumb till I was 21. What? I sucked mine till I was Wait, 15. So this person is you my did, right? hero. I did. But then didn't it cause issues with your mouth? My teeth were jacked. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you just said that. I'm literally imagining. Wait, he said Wait, I'm Tyler, a liar. Are you saying something? Um, what? Laura. You were sucking your thumb off and on when we started dating. <laughs> How old were we when I was 19? You were, I think, 18, 19 when we started dating. I, okay, I have a I question. think she was at the uh -oh. end of it, though. Like, she was she was on the downturn. She was on the downturn of the, of the sucking. Was, she was kicking it. She was kicking the habit. Because she was starting to suck your oh, dude. Oh, I'm going to say it for goddamn money. Hold on, I just want the podcast listeners to know that the people on the other side of this <laughs> they have a, like they, banging. They have guys, formal we, meetings. It's like a thin wall between this wall and like the office is over there. And we just went bam, 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 so fucking loud and we can hear them talking. Wait, so why did you suck your thumb for so long? So ever since I was like a toddler, baby, whatever, mm -hmm. I sucked my right thumb only, not okay. my left thumb ever. Did you have a, lo is it longer? It's longer. Do you see that? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you're, this is the thumb you suck. I line up the knuckle area like that. Oh, you know okay, what got, I got, mean? Yes, yes, yes. Like right there. Uh huh. This Ish. one looks longer. That one's, I sucked this one. Oh, okay. So maybe I you stunted the growth I of that stunted, one. I did seriously did. And I stunted Lord, it's my- literally like half an inch I longer. Stump, I stuffed it. I stunt. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna get it out. I, I don't you get gonna it. get it. I don't get it. I stunted the growth of my teeth too. <laughs> Wait, so does that does that push your teeth it forward at all? My my bottom teeth forward and my front teeth forward. So this is why you don't get sick anymore because all the thumb sucking honey, you did. Any germ all on the, the planet? All the germs that are out there have been in your system. I went for it full force, and I. And so was it like a, just a comfort thing? Like you just like it was enjoyed a it? It was okay. a comfort thing to the level of I couldn't even sleep at night unless I was sucking my thumb all night. I didn't do it too much during the day, but now whenever I was like dating Ty, like he had probably uh -huh. seen me suck my thumb like four times. <laughs> I'm not well. Like you, I'm you, not you, well. You look over here on the podcast and I'm like, like and now, well now I'm too conscious. Like it would make me throw up to put, because my hands <laughs> touch so much. Thing? Like, and my hands touch yes, so much. Exactly. Like, I've touched this mic, my drinks, like, everything. I'm like very. The, now you're aware. Oh, yeah, it would freak me out to do that. But would you want to? No. Okay. No. I wonder, I was like, would you, like, would it, was it like riding a bike? Like, you just start sucking the thumb again. I don't know. Maybe it would turn into it again if I did it again, though. Because I <laughs> we, haven't done it start. again. Okay. You can't start okay. that addiction again. Okay. Well, your <laughs> secret is safe with me, girl, because I did it too. <laughs> yeah. That's a gorgeous secret on this. On this. That's why. Well, that's why podcast. I specifically picked that like, one because yes. I was like, I wanted to wrap myself out a little. I guess. That is honestly fucking hilarious, Laura. We all did like weird shit, though. I think so. I'm not saying that it's weird. But I think it's everybody like, has like a, a weird thing. quirk or do. Yeah. Whether they want to admit it or whether they want to talk about it. I think everybody has a little weird quirk. De or something. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm going to hear these people talk. I, we like, can, we can hear. Shut I, like, shut up. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. I'm sure they've, like, complained at some point oh, of us sure. screaming. Absolutely. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm going to the next question right now. Okay. I had an affair with my best friend's <gasps> dad. <gasps> let, me, let me think about it. Got it. Best friend's dad. dad. Okay. We have been married for 12 years and have four kids now. 
<gasps> well, it worked so out, it was baby. Wor- so it was worth it. Oh, wow. So the affair wow. turned, turned into marriage. Okay. Wait, had an affair with your best friend's dad. So then you were with someone. That would be like you being you- with my dad. Oh, that's weird. That's really weird. Because then they're going to be a part of your life forever. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Well, th- then maybe that's good then. Uh, maybe. <laughs> but as an affair, it might forever. be a negative experience. No, absolutely. I think that's actually very, very, very... Four kids? Um, they have four kids? Four. 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 They have a family. How many... What, what is your, like, goal number to have kid-wise? Like, to have, if you would have yourself your kids. One or none. One or none. What Love about it. you? I would say... Maybe two. Yeah. But I'm, I'm definitely not the type that would like wants five. Like I'm not oh, yeah. that person whatsoever. I, I don't have that in me. I, it's, I don't have that drive. That's a strength right there. Yeah, that's definitely a strength. I'm like more of like a boy and a girl. Boom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, how about this one? My brother-in-law is in love with me. <gasps> My brother? Wait. So you're married. So you're married to someone and yeah. their brother loves you. Oh. Oh, oh my fuck. That sounds like a rom-com movie. That sounds like a rom-com turned porn. Manny. <laughs> <laughs> like, will you help me? I'm stuck in the washer and dryer, you know? Wow. You know wow, what I'm saying? Wow, like, it can wow. tur- it just, it's very it weird. It can go anyway. It can go so many different paths and journeys. That must be so interesting at the holidays. I was going to say, how does it happen with, like, what happens? Like, do you, also, how do you know that they love you? Like, do they tell you? Do Oof. they admit their love to you? What if he's, like, texting her and, like, stuff? Oh, my God. That's can like you a, my imagine? brother, let's say my brother's girlfriend being in love with me. I'd be like, what? Yeah, see, that's a conundrum right it's there. It's truly like a mind fuck. It actually. would literally mess you up. It oh, yeah, would that's mess scarring. you up. Especially that's like it, because you're going to be around. Oh, here's the secret. Sorry, it just popped up. I find Manny hot. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, well, thank you. We, I appreciate that. Me and Ty think Manny's hot too. Oh. Tyler? <laughs> Ty did slow blink. This with is it. the time that Ty does need a camera on him because it's it that moments like that where he's slow blink, very it, like it's so funny. Tyler, I can't believe you didn't. I can't believe you didn't just react. Of course, immediately. I know that's actually really fucking fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I Maddie from Euphoria last night? You're fucking, fucking dead, dude. You're like beating his ass You're in there. Fucking dead, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We're unwell. We're unwell, but it's fun. Sorry, I'm. I think I got another one. I'm scared. Uh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, sorry. Some of these are two parters, and you know I gotta. Oh, you gotta do. Yeah, so. absolutely. Um, and some of them are probably very dark. I used to be a prostitute. Now I live a life of lux. Wouldn't change a thing. Former for me, former hooker. Sorry, the hashtag. Former she hooker. did hashtag former hooker, and I thought it was for me, our hooker, and then I got it. Former. So hooker. would would hooker and prostitute be the same? Are those is that the same? Uh, are they oh, synonymous? Like I'm not sure. Maybe the like, two they, by words definition. mean something different in a way, in a mm-hmm. small way, or something mm-hmm. that we don't know. Yeah, because you know it's like a whore and a slut are different. Like they're different things. I know there's a woman. Oh, I did not know that. So I think it's like a whore is like someone you get you pay. A That's whore your best friend. For a slut. Of course, you're a slut. Where, you're saying a whore! It for free. <laughs> Where it's like a slut is they do it for free, I think. I it's didn't like never I think that's the difference. I never knew that. I, I if I'm wrong, I'm, yeah, I'm so sure sorry. you're not. I just but didn't I, know. Think, I think I'm right on this one. Like, I think, I think like, you oh, are you pay a whore, but a slut is just doing it for free. Wow. For fun. So I wonder if there's like a difference between hooker and prostitute. Oh, I but bet also there like is. I bet go there is. them. Like honestly. Like that's fucking dope. And also like sex works, real work. Like yeah. we're all about you know, sex positivity here on full coverage. Listen, don't judge someone until you've been in their shoes. Exactly. I'm sorry. That's just what it is. Adam and Steve. Um, Adam and Steve. Adam and Steve. I don't know who they are. No, it's just Adam and Eve. <laughs> <laughs> gay. <laughs> but gay. Um, okay. I'm just trying to find something juicy. <laughs> Did you I'm 27 that? and no guy has made me come. I always <gasps> fake it. Don't fake it. Wait, 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 wait. Well, don't wait. fake it. Tell them. Tell them they suck. <laughs> wait a darn minute. You do the same thing. I, it's a lot harder to fake for me. Oh, yeah, that's true. Because things actually happen. Yeah, that's true. You know, so with girls, mm-hmm. I know, like, so, okay, I'm trying to think. Anatomically, mm-hmm. women, mm-hmm. vaginas. Nothing like, necessarily has to happen. For what? 
for an orgasm really? to happen. Nothing like physically necessarily. I heard that has it's not happen. necessarily like vaginal penetration. It's oh, more no. so clitoral stimulation. And like faking it could be like so easy as to just making a noise because nothing physical has to happen. Oh right, no, exactly. And like nothing actually technically happens. Yeah. Where it's like you wouldn't know unless it's like I more so like your body girls, convulsing and stuff. Maybe things happen, but oh, like for yeah, some they, people like, it doesn't. They shoot. <laughs> they squirt. Taylor's like you fake it. <laughs> I'm like it's, I'm like it's so easy to it's fake it. It's so easy to fake it. I was like, no, I think like, I think women shouldn't be that nice. <laughs> no, I agree. I think, but I also think like especially if it's like let's say if it's like with someone that you're dating, it's like yo, like that doesn't feel good. Like do this. Yeah. I feel like isn't that like that's good. Like I feel like that's really like just open communication. You're right. You right. should be doing that. You should definitely be open with your partner. And be like yo, like this isn't working. Yeah. Suck on my blank. On my blank. Suck on my blank. Okay, I love it. Um, Suck on my blank. Okay. There's a lot of inf interesting sex going on in here. <laughs> but it's because secrets are like, that's like what secrets are, though. It's like wild, ridiculous things. Um, uh, when, I did, when I did the secrets, like I've done them before, and like I did a whole t YouTube video on him. Most of the things were literally like wild, outlander sex things. Okay. Like I'm talking like I've hooked up with my brother. Wow. Like far, very far fetched wild things and i'm like what i found a long-winded one give it to me my friends confide friends confide in me that she has an std she gave it to about three boys by accident my oh. other friend comes to me crying because she got an std from a guy who is apparently she's been exclusive with him why a secret i don't know but nonetheless i knew where she got it from um, and she said they're both her good friends and she kept her mouth shut. So it seems like one friend had an STD, gave it to three guys. Her other friend sleeping with one of the three guys. She gets an STD all upset about it. And she knows where it came from and she kept her mouth shut. What would you do in that situation? Though? Well, the thing is the girl, she said like, she whose gave business it. Is that really? She gave it by accident. And what makes it, if you already have the STD mm -hmm. from the guy, what makes it better knowing more? Right. It doesn't change. It, it doesn't, doesn't change, like change it. it. Yeah, it doesn't change it. So there's that. So it's not like she's like preventing her from getting help. You know right. what I mean? She already got it. She's trying to get these two women to love each other. No, literally. Like, she's, but it's peace. also, it's a very, very weird situation because like sexual health is such a personal thing. It is. And it's like, let's say if I had an STI, I'd be like, telling my partner it but it's not i'm not necessarily telling all my friends that i have mm -hmm. it but it's like i'm gonna be honest and open with my sexual history with my person that i'm sleeping with but i don't need to be telling everyone else you know what i mean so right. it's like well like i i don't know it's like what's what's to be done in that situation exactly and it's technically the guy that she was sleeping with's responsibility to mm. tell her that he had it but maybe he didn't and was know he having he an affair it. Because if he caught it from someone else and gave it to her when they were exclusive, she said they were exclusive. It's the dude's fault. So we can't be mad at the girl. So it's not. It's not her. And even like you, like keeping that as a secret. Like again, it's your friends confiding in you about their sexual health. Yeah, it's not something that you need to be like blasting out loud. Exactly. You know what exactly, I mean? So I actually think exactly. that that as a secret, it's like okay, well, like I I get it. Like yeah, I'm not gonna be telling everyone my friend's sexual history and my friend's sexual health. Never. So. Like, I, I understand where she's coming from. Me too. It's also very uncomfortable, and you already got it. So it's like, girl, you're not preventing anything. I'm going to be real, though. That's a hairy... It's a hairy situation. It's a very hairy situation, but it is very, like... Ooh. Here's one that's kind of light and funny. When influencers say, a lot of you guys were asking about my blank, how often is that a lie? I, I would say... It, would, it definitely would be a lie sometimes. <laughs> I don't think... <laughs> It's a 30 minute break. Oh! <laughs> 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 Should we answer um, this and then do the break? Okay, we'll talk about this when we come right back. Okay, this. deal. Thank you to Lumi Labs for sponsoring this portion of Full Coverage. You guys, so you probably have heard of microdosing. If you search around a bit on the internet, you find all sorts of people microdosing to feel healthier and perform better. And you guys, today we are sponsored, of course, by Microdose Gummies. Microdose Gummies basically deliver perfect entry-level doses of THC that helps you feel just the right amount of good. Got it. And we love, we love a perfect amount. We love a perfect amount. Yeah. They really do. So you can use them to get zoned in, get creative, get, especially late at night, or help you even chill out and sleep like a baby. They're 10 out of 10. 
And not only that, like they actually taste good. Oh yeah, they actually taste good and they feel amazing, which I think honestly is is not all what we want. Like let's <laughs> to be healthy for us, it also tastes good. So they have a little deal for you guys. Microdose is available nationwide. To learn more about microdosing THC, just do a quick search or go to microdosegummies.com and use the code FULL to get free shipping and 30% off your first order. The links can be found in the description of the show. But again, that's microdosegummies.com, code FULL. Thank you to Lumino for sponsoring this portion of Full Coverage. I love my smile. What I don't love is all the toxic ingredients in most dental care products. They're not good for my health or my teeth. I want the best for my oral health. Products made with natural ingredients that help my smile and not harm it. That's why I use Lumino. The good thing about Lumino also, guys, is the fact that it makes you feel safe. It's healthier. Everything about it is just a lot more natural and healthy, which makes me feel super, super excited because I'm like, finally, we have something that is not super toxic for our mouth. No one wants a toxic mouth. That's my favorite thing about it. I love, love, love that it's non-toxic. It has natural ingredients. And hello, you're putting it in your mouth, so it really matters. Yeah, it's going to absorb. Uh-huh. You want it to be good as possible. I love how my smile feels and looks, and I know you'll love Lumino as much as I do. Get 15% off your order today by going to getlumino.com slash fool and use code fool that's g-e-t-l-u-m-i-n-e-u-x dot com slash fool code fool to save 15 percent. getlumino.com slash fool thank you to pill club for sponsoring this portion of full coverage you guys if you need to renew your birth control prescription you want to switch it maybe try it for the first time you guys can go to pill club they have your back I absolutely love that. You guys, basically, Pill Club is a birth control subscription prescribed by medical professionals and delivered straight to your door for free. Pill Club carries over 120 FDA-approved brands. Most brands of birth controls are free with insurance or Medicaid. Otherwise, prices start as low as $7 per month without insurance. And you guys, literally at prices as low as $7 a month. Whoa. That's actually insane. That, a lot of people don't have insurance like that. Like, the fact that they make it so much easier... Like like this, it just it's just really, really cool to me. I love that. The Pill Club delivers birth control to your door free and discreet packaging along with fun self-care gifts and goodies. I absolutely love that. And you guys, the fact that it's literally discreet packaging, we love some discreet packaging too. <laughs> like we absolutely love that coming in. So I think that's really, really cool. And you guys, we have a gorgeous little deal for you guys. Right now, when you go to thepillclub.com slash fool, the Pill Club is offering a $10 donation to bedsider.org for every full coverage listener who becomes a patient. Your donation will help low-income individuals get access to birth control through bedsider.org. That's thepillclub.com slash fool to get your first birth control care package and donate to help more women in need of affordable birth control. Remember, thepillclub.com slash fool. You must use the link to make a donation. And we're back. And we're back. (laughs) Okay, we're back. We were just talking about how... What influencers say... <laughs> you fucking blink so hard right now. When influencers say, oh my God, so many guys are asking about this. Like, mm-hmm. how, how often is that true? And how often is that a lie? You guys have no idea how many people ask about things. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you, you make the internet fun when you ask. Because yeah. it, it makes me excited and to talk about things. Like, I sometimes don't know what you guys want to know. Or, like, know, like, maybe where that top is from. Or, like, about when your next video. Or what's this about? And when people ask, it's so... I love it. I yeah, fucking I love it. But I am a question answer. I'm, like, one of those people who do that. Like, all the time on stories, I'll screenshot someone's DM asking me a question. And then I'll answer it publicly. So mm-hmm. everybody gets the answer in case anyone yeah. else was wondering. Mm-hmm. I would say, like... It definitely does happen because I have definitely seen people and people have told me like, honestly, like I got asked like one time oh! and people were like, and I was like, yeah, a lot of people were asking, <laughs> but it was asked like literally one yeah, time and I'm like, yeah. girl. So it definitely does happen for sure. Right. Because at the end of the day too, like if someone wants to answer something, they're going to answer it. Right. But if they want to have an excuse to answer it, they're going to say, oh my God, so many people were asking me about it. Right. You know what I mean? And it's like, right. but were they? But were they, But girl? were they? And a lot of times it is, a lot of times it's not. I, I agree with that. You know what I mean? Like, I think it just, it also depends on the influencer too. Like, do you fucking trust that influencer or you don't? 
Okay, that see, do you that's think the they're thing genuine? Too. Like, do you think do they're you genuine? Trust them? Do you trust what they're saying? Same. Like, do you really think like that they're telling the truth about things? Well, what I try to too. do because I know that that kind of goes around was like how many people I always try to screenshot when people are asking to be like, see this? I <laughs> swear it's happening. <laughs> no, I agree too. I have to say, like, when people ask about my fragrance, perfume, like anything that mm -hmm. I'm working on, guys. I like am pretty passionate about like getting dressed and doing makeup and mm -hmm. hair and it's very exciting for me when people ask me. I feel good about myself and it makes me very excited to answer questions like that. I agree. Actually, I really like that too. I like when people are like, what lipstick are you wearing? Yeah. Uh, what foundation are you wearing right now? What, what's your favorite concealer? Like, I like those questions because to me, I'm passionate about something like that. So answering it is really, really fun. I enjoy answering yeah. it too. It makes me like excited <laughs> especially if it's like multiple like so that that for me that's how it usually happens if i'm saying like oh multiple people are asking it usually is several people asking about like what is the, the lipstick shade you're wearing yeah and then it's like okay i've had like 20 people ask it's time Let me to show release you guys. it's time to show you guys what it is actually is because people are enough people are interested in it. so usually you guys if there is enough interest in something Someone's gonna answer it. Exactly. Where everyone's gonna answer like, well, what's going on? You but know. But let me tell you, I'm sure there is plenty of. Oh yeah. But I also feel like that's kind of harmless a little bit. Yeah, I mean, in a way, like, doesn't really matter. If you want to talk about, talk about it. Just fucking talk about. It. You don't have to. But it's also like, you don't have to. I've I've watched. I will say I have watched influencers on their stories. I mean, like, I've had so many of you guys <laughs> ask me this, and this is where I got my purse. And even and it's you, like, you're like, sure. I'm not kidding you. I'm. For me, I'm like I would say like half of the time I'm like sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, Jan. Right, sure, Jan. Like I don't, I don't believe you. You should send them that gift. Sure, Jan. Sure, Jan. With a little like. I like that question, by the way. That was that a was really a, good that question. That was a funny one. And it's it is true. I would say half of the time, at least from what I experience, like half of the time. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I love it. I like a good shady question like that. I do too. That's mm, juicy, that's baby. Juice. I like Hugo. Um. <laughs> I don't know if this is really juicy, but I got a crush on my guy friend. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute, though. I think it's so wholesome. I love, like, those are, like, wholesome and cute it's and adorable. So wholesome. I don't know if this is a secret, but I have a crush on my Maybe friend. Maybe she's got a crush, and she's just trying to let talk about it privately. Honestly, I swear to you, though, like, when you talk about it, out, it, like, it helps make it real. It's manifestation. One, it's, you're manifesting it. You're making it real. You're making it more comfortable for yourself. Like, I think yep. that talking about things is the way to go actually when it comes to things like this it's like i, I need to vent about or like even if you're not comfortable talking about it with other people like talking about it like online this is a about, safe like, space because no one will ever know who you are exactly and it's literally anonymous so that's like the whole point of it thank you for sharing we love you um okay what's next what's the juice what's the 411 what's all the hot gossip okay sorry this one you i'm gonna piece young. together oh. okay when i was 15 i went to a party and i got busted by the cops <gasps> i asked the cop if i could go pee when his back was turned, I hopped the fence and ran and never told a soul. Honestly, I didn't know where that was going to go because I thought she might, I was, was going to pee on the cop or something. I thought she was going to give him a blowjob or something. Oh. Like, that's where my head automatically, because you, you've seen House Bunny. You know, when, oh, when she's like, yep. she's like brushing teeth and he's like, oh, like put that away or something. She's like, okay. And then she like goes down. I was like, is that where this is going? I, I got feel worried. Like that was, oh, she said she was 15. So she was a oh, 15. <laughs> It was a teenager 15. running from the. Oh wait, Got it. So she's yeah, literally running I was the cops. 15. Got yeah. it. I she didn't even think just, about that. Girl said, "Don't call my parents." Like I honestly, I think at fifteen, I would probably do the same thing. Yeah. I would freak. Actually, you know what? Me at fifteen was a just sweet, innocent little boy yes, who just a sweet. Baby I was just boy. a sweet little boy who just wanted. I was ba baby Billy. Baby Billy. Call me baby Billy. Baby Billy. I love baby Billy. I love baby Billy. <laughs> baby. Who watches Righteous Gemstones? Me. Everyone go, Lord, watch got me into it. everyone go watch Righteous Gemstones. Are you watching the season? Like you're watching what's going on right now? Honey. This, honestly, this season I feel like is making me laugh more than the last season did. Oh, yeah. I'm literally like fucking cackling they watching this shit. They are taking it there. I haven't seen yesterday's episode yet, but it's... Mm, I'm mm. watching it tonight. I've so already watched it. You'll love it. It's so good. It's so funny. I love, I love it. We were talking about it in Vegas because a lot of people in Vegas watch it. Do they? And we were all talking about Judy. Ju Daddy. Daddy. I could be Judy. Daddy's sleeping with all these whores. <laughs> Judy, I think, is actually probably my favorite character. Honestly, Judy carries because she carries a lot the, of weight. The way the way she just does things, that actress. Yep. She's so fucking funny. Yep. And her little like weird dance move, her little like Ugh. scooting little foot thing. There's so much detail so on the show. Like, there's so much detail That's a big budget. that makes it funny. Yeah. It's a, it's a big budget. It's a big budget. It's an HBO show, you guys. By the way, it's on HBO Max. Where we watch <laughs> um, Euphoria. Oh yeah, we're on Euphoria. Yeah. 
Um, <laughs> this just made me realize <laughs> I'm so boring and I have no secrets. You're not. We love you. We love you. We love you. We don't have any secrets either. We're innocent. <laughs> assuming guilty. <laughs> I'm just like literally delusional. This is our episode, second episode of the day. So we're, by the time the second episode rolls I'm around, tell you something. <laughs> if you're like, she's off. Oh my god! Oh, let's bring that up. So let's bring that up. You say I'm off. It's okay. It doesn't hurt my. I'm like, it doesn't hurt it my doesn't feelings. Hurt me. <laughs> it's because I'm delusional. I don't guys, have any other excuse. No, literally. But there's also like, because sometimes I, I've seen the comments too, where it's like, I'm off, or like Laura, Laura seems sad today, and it's yeah. like, no, we're literally just like probably on episode two of the day, and I'm wiped. And we're I'm wiped zoinked. by the time. But that I we're do want to say one. sorry for it because it's like I'm here. I'm supposed to be filming a podcast. I need to be like, wake up, like wake you don't up, wake need up. Wake to be. I it's know, like very normal. To I feel know. Like that, I feel though. like I should be, and like, but sometimes you know I'd be waking up real early. And yeah, and to, you go to bed early. I go to bed early, and sometimes we're here till nine o'clock, and I'm it's past my bedtime, honey. She's already in bed at like literally eight thirty. You guys, <sighs> I'm. Dead if serious. I text Laura after six, oh. It's a wrap. Oh. Laura's not responding till the morning. I quit being social at night because yeah. I tend like, to it's like. It's me time. It's, it's you me, time. It is family me time. time. You and family time. It's, it is. That is. But all day I'm pretty talkative. But yeah, I'm sorry. After six, it's over. I'm sorry. I just get tired. I mean, we all do. Like, I don't think that's something you should be apologizing for. You're sweet. Thank you. I just think it's actually like, I guess to me, I think it's rude when people comment things like that. But that's just yeah. my opinion. Yeah. Like, okay, cool. Yeah, I guess I look tired today. Great. Like, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, I feel like a little bit less energy. I do. Sometimes you know I mean? it's, be- it's always the second episode. It's I, always the second episode. Yeah. And, and today's our second episode. Like, right now, right second now, episode this is of second the episode. Day. So, I promise I'm not sad. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> I promise I'm not sad. I promise. I'm literally fine. The up here is good. No, we're good. Um, Physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. Sometimes. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, I hear the people next to us giggling. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they, they like heard, our podcast. They, I think they do. Actually, I think they're full. They're part of the full fam. I hope they listen. I think they should. I think that they listen and they watch. That way, they can have context as to what the hell is going on over yeah, here. Yeah, so they understand why we're cackling <sighs> on this side of the wall. Um. Okay. Are you ready for the next secret? I am. Okay. One time, I shit myself, had a bellyache, oh. on a rug, and blamed it on my mom's dog, so she cleaned it. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> Just throw the rug away. No. No. Not but, your mom cleaning up your But what if it was shit. a huge area? Rug? Like, you can't just put that You can't just roll up a 14-footer. <laughs> a 14-footer. Wait, wait. Wait. So... How big is your dog? <laughs> it's like How a did you escape? It's a chihuahua. <laughs> Why is your shit the size of a hand? Why is my Why? chihuahua shit that big? <laughs> Honey. Laura, what the it, fuck would you do? Oh my God. Ty's laughing because he remembers what I did to an ex-boyfriend. What did you, what did you do to an ex-boyfriend? Manny. Am I, this is the last story I'm telling because this is really getting me to spill some stuff. Uh, that's what podcasts are for. <laughs> So that's exactly what you're going to be doing. Okay, I feel like what I, you want to do isn't necessarily what you're going to do. I'm not going to tell. Laura's going to tell. Okay, great. But you're going to keep her accountable, to... right? I'll keep her accountable. I'm <laughs> here. So one time I was spending the night at my boyfriend's house who we were in high I know, school. I remember so, okay, now. thank you. Wow, spending the night at your boyfriend's house in high school? Baby was living a life. Ooh, she was, <laughs> was litty. And I peed in his bed. <laughs> I had a dream that I had a pee, so I just peed in his so bed. Okay, got it, got it. And I woke up and I was like, oh my God, I peed in his bed. Which he had already gotten up. He only got up early. Okay, so, so wait, so he didn't feel any of it? No, it was just me and the pee. So it was like a okay. safe space, but like, what do you do? Not your pee safe space. <laughs> it was my pee. So they had yeah. like some dogs. So I put the dog on the bed and like <laughs> evacuated you the blame premises. It. You blamed the dog? <laughs> I sure did. And boy, I heard the mom yelling at that dog. Oh, and that I was poor like, dog. I said, Oh, he looked at me too and I was like you don't say a word <laughs> you take the dog's like you take this to the grave and I've always been a cat person ever so I <laughs> and I never had a dog seat <laughs> I'm just kidding I did I did guys was the pee really yellow I don't know because his covers were dark like he had a dark comforter I'm imagining like Gatorade yellow there oh, what <laughs> <laughs> like were you dehydrated why? like I want to know that to be, why does it have to be brown like <laughs> <laughs> like why? Like McDonald's arches yellow. No. Like, um, yeah. It probably was. Do you remember that time I peed myself <laughs> in Vegas on the floor? <laughs> that Ty, was probably Ty, my you were most there for that fun too. 
<laughs> one of my most fun experiences that we've ever had. Was I? What happened? Tyler, you were there. 100%. We were in Vegas. We were all in my bathroom at the hotel. We were laughing about something. We were laughing. If I get the giggles too much, I'll pee. She'll pee. Especially she'll, if she'll I have to, have to she'll pee. Have to hold. If I have to pee, especially, then it's over. Then it's a wrap. Like it's coming out. So we were in the bathroom laughing so hard. I had a dress on. And oh, I remember what it had something to do with the balloon. You popped a balloon. Oh my God. And it scared the <laughs> shit out of me. It, it scared. And you were washing your face. <laughs> and, like, ah! and and yep. we popped a balloon right by your head while you were washing your face. So it and scared I you. freaked out. Me and Ty thought, I thought it was so funny. I started pissing all over the floor. You I'm guys, talking. it wasn't like tell them a sprinkle. Tell them. Uh, it was a geyser. A, a full I look over at Laura and it's like. <laughs> <laughs> you guys I have Niagara no Falls. idea how many pee stories I have with Laura. I be There's so. I remember the one of like the when you're on the ride and you're like. This, this, this. <laughs> Oh, uh, that was in my car. <laughs> yeah, she pissed in my car and then threw it in my face. In my mouth. My mouth was open and everything. <laughs> the sprinkles of bee hit his tongue. Swear to God. Swear to God. Oh, oh, no. Wait, but how did that even happen? Like, how did you get in his mouth? I had a keychain that I was swinging out the car with. <laughs> the story's so random. <laughs> I had a keychain. Oh I was God. swinging it outside the car window, <laughs> and lo and behold, it falls on my finger. And I'm like, "Oh my God, Ty, stop my keychain!" So I get out of the car, <laughs> and he didn't realize. I guess I had hopped out yet. <laughs> 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 it's not gonna be now and the car door was still open and he didn't realize because he's looking backwards there weren't those cameras those nice cameras that show you uh -huh. so he's looking backwards to reverse to go back to the keychain but i was just gonna <laughs> run real quick yeah. so he ran me over with the no. door of the car so I, it was so funny because i'm like pancaked out in the street <laughs> You're laid out flat. So I start peeing everywhere. And in I my cloth seats. <laughs> no. So she, she tries they to like leather? cup it. She tries to go under and cup She's it. She's like, no, to, hide, to <laughs> yeah. stop it. And I guess she thought it was so funny. She just let her hands go out. I was like, out. I'm peeing. And it shot all over his face. <laughs> like a handful of piss. So if anybody asks, have you ever been pissed on by your wife? I can say yes. Yes. Not in the way they think. But no, yes. no, no. And it was more accidental. Sure. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that is honestly so fucking funny. There's dude. one more piece story, Ty. I can't remember right there's now. So many. Oh, there's so many. There was also you were on a ride. I remember That's you were on a ride. Was. That was like a tea, like a spinning one. That was one. a recent one. That was a recent one. Like, I remember that you're hearing that piece story. Two years ago, we went to the Seth Rogen Carnival, and there's That's that what ride. It was. Oh yes. my god! I know. No, you know exactly. What it <laughs> no, is, that it. involved more than pee. It she did. drooled on me. <laughs> oh, I, my tears drool and piss was covering him. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Do you know the ride? Every that orifice was you, leaking. Every, even it's my It's the butthole. ride that pushes you to <laughs> the, the ride that pushes like you the to force. the outside. Yeah. It's a typical the force. force. Yes. The force. The G force. So I was glued to him, mm -hmm. but it was making me black out. <laughs> the ride. I thought it would be fun, like when I was a teenager. Not the same. Not the same. Not as an adult. So it's a lot I'm, like, harder. She lost out. all bodily function. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I was black and I thought it was also funny that I was blacking out and glued to him. Like, that's crazy. Like, you couldn't get away. Like, you were, like, stuck so to him. So, I did a full pee in the seat of the ride. Full pee. A full pee. He was sitting in it. I was sitting and it, And it all pushes to the outside, it right? Like where so, you are. It did. Yeah. And when I tell you, my head was stuck to his cheek. And I couldn't, and drooling I on couldn't him. close my mouth because I was blacking out. Yeah, Laura's only like 110 pounds, but good <laughs> no, lord, when that's pushed up force, against you, the force. they was, must have had that ride on he X Games. He literally mode. had my head pushing it as hard as he could to get it off of him because of the amount of drool. <laughs> I was in pain too, and she's drooling on me. <laughs> and tears and piss. And piss. Boy, and that was the first ride of the night. No. Yes. Yeah. So Did I, you dry off? I had to cover myself with a shirt I was wearing, and I wore p p pissy pants all night, all night long. <laughs> Sure a did. This pot, oh. literally. Trauma. That's she that's actually pot. trauma. Tell us Tyler's trauma. That's my trauma. <laughs> that's your trauma. I have a lot of piss trauma. That's literally like that's a real couple right there. Okay, that's but you marriage. have to admit it's always a good time. <laughs> of course, doesn't it's, matter what. Honestly, when Laura peed in Vegas and I witnessed the whole thing, the best it time. bonded us. Like I think that bonded us for literal life. You'll have the best time with me. I'll, I promise. The best time. And if you see your pee, it's over. It's that means we that, had the best night. It did. It really does. If I don't pee it on you or near you at the, by the I end mean, of the she night, like you. 
That means I don't like you. I'm like yeah, a dog. I'm, I'm like a dog. You. <laughs> You're claiming your property. Marking her territory. Uh, you guys. This this podcast took a turn. It took a, it took a dark turn, but I'm so happy. It took a dark green, yellow pee turn. Well, I told my secrets. Oh, the pee. Yeah, oh, yeah. where were your secrets, Manny? Manny. You what are you talking about? I, this isn't even about me. This is about our <laughs> full fam. This is about our full fam. When was the last time you peed yourself? Se- I've never peed myself ever once. You have a penis, Not though. even when you were a kid? Not even when I was a kid. I've, never, I, I've shit myself twice. I've, I've shit myself I've never once. peed myself. I've it's been a while since I've peed, but I mean, obviously, like, peed the bed. But you peed the bed, yeah? Yeah. I've never peed the bed. I've definitely, like, accidentally had a wet dream. Oh, uh, yeah. And I was like, what is literally, why is there a marshmallow? Because, <gasps> you know, it's like sticky and white. I'm uh, like, what's happening? Why is there a marshmallow in my pants? Why is there a melted marshmallow in my pants? <laughs> Especially because oh, I was like, okay. You kid. know why. I didn't know why. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know what it was. I was like, what happened? I woke up and I was like, am I okay? It was strange. Uh, like the first time? Like the first time. I was oh, like, wow. Mind you, it hasn't happened to me like a lot of times. Like, oh. like, like I can count the amount of times on my hand. Wow. Not a lot at all. But it was just like. This is very weird. Mm-hmm. And I, because mm-hmm. imagine waking up and that was there. And you're like, why? So confused. So confused. It was like, why so is there confused. a wet spot there? Yeah. Crazy. It was crazy. I literally was, I didn't understand it. So of course I Googled it. And I was like, oh. Google has like, the answer. I, I was like preteen. Google I'm like has in the, the preteen teen phase. Got it. That's that yeah, heavy it's time. That, it's, it's, there's a lot of hormonal things happening. That reminds me of Big Mouth. It happens going on the end. through changes because it happens. I, I know you love Big Mouth. I love it, and I think Tyler does too. He shook his head yes. He, he shook his head it. yes. Tyler, has that ever happened to you? You've had that before, right? I think I feel like every guy's had what, a uh, wet, like a wet dream. a wet dream. Oh yeah, of course. Okay, yeah. See, I feel like it's very happened normal. Last night. What? Uh, Just kidding. <laughs> it's been a long time. <laughs> I love so. Do you know what was one of our top comments on last episode? The what? Laura, Laura Lollipop. <gasps> I forgot about that. I literally the amount of comments I saw that were Laura Lollipop hey, for hey, your stripper hey, name. Hey, so you guys approve the <laughs> they, full? They fam. absolutely approve for Laura Lollipop. I appreciate that. Thank you guys, and you can call me Laura Lollipop. Laura Lollipop. Yes. Anytime you want. I'll Laura Lolly. Hey, uh, hey. Uh, uh. Except for you. <laughs> <laughs> and you are not allowed. And not you. <laughs> Okay, here's another secret. I still be picking my nose and eating if I don't have a booger. Oh wait, sorry. Jesus. I still be pe- <laughs> I'm scared. I still be picking my nose and eating it if I don't have anywhere to put the booger. <gasps> I can always find somewhere to put a booger. <laughs> uh, co- How is there not a place to put it? Put the booger on the wall. No. <laughs> Roll it up and throw it. You yeah. fly it out the car window. Yes. If it's going to happen, like if you have to. There's always somewhere to put there's it. There's always somewhere to put it. Maybe not in your mouth. Maybe she just likes to eat the booger. I, that's what it sounds like. I, okay, you guys. I, I, you know what? I just literally, I felt sick for a second. Like I literally felt nauseous. It doesn't gross like, me out Like it literally just much. like, it like, it made my body twitch. Um, That is Manny's trauma. But no, but I, I don't, I've never eaten boogers. Yes, you do. No, I don't. I see you eat your boogers no, all, you the, time. No, all you the time. No, you don't. All the time. No, you don't. I, I've kidding. never, and I've never had. That's why I think it's because I've always felt like kind of grossed out by it. Oh, gosh. But I do buy my nails, and that's a gross habit, too, and I bite them. Yeah, a lot of people, I don't, a lot of people I don't hate think that. you're gross. I get it. I get it. You know, I get why you think, think it's gross, gross but, I, you know. To me, I'm like, whatever. It's biting your nails. Oh, that was a, that was a cute one. What's, a, what's another nasty habit? What's a nasty habit you have? Um... Well, I used to pick my cuticles till they bled, but oh, okay. with nails on, mm-hmm. um, I don't really get to do that as much because I don't know. There's like not a lot coats, of though. space to do you it. You also have very like hydrated like tips. Like they're not like, you know, like Towards when you're dehydrated. Towards the end of my nails, yeah. I start doing it again because oh, they grow out and it leaves like that space to do yes. it. Yes. And so you pick up. Which I guess that one's not like horrific. No, but it's not good. It's not good. No. Um, I would say mine. Fuck. I'm trying to think of what mine would be. What's a bad, like, what's a weird habit of mine? Oh. I would say, like, I like, I'll, like, pick my hair. Okay. I'll pick, like, my I've arm hair. I've seen people do that. I've seen I'll, like, that. rip out I've my seen... arm hair sometimes. Rip out my leg hair sometimes. Like, if I just feel like I just want to, like, I'll just, like, uh, I'll just rip it. I, I'll rip, like, my I ass you, hair. I see you rip out your arm hair all the time. Not all the time, Manny, but, like, sometimes. you literally rip out your arm hair all the time. But if there's one that's really long that's longer than the rest, I'm ripping it out. Like, you Doesn't can't stop hurt? me. Does it hurt? A little bit, but like I, it needs to go. Like I can't have one long one. I had a friend in, um, I think it was junior high, or I can't remember. But anyways, she used to do that all the she time. She rip her hair? Mm, arm hair out. It would be like, yeah, it's either my arm That's hair or my she, leg hair. She it's literally any take hair her I can arm find. and she would find long pieces and she would rip them out. Do you rip out your butt hair, Manny? 
if yeah, if I have like a long hair, like I, I love will. the secrets coming out. This is good. How is it be turning into our secrets being revealed? Because we're crazy. What's one nasty thing you do, Tyler? Like, what's like one of your? Well, I definitely bite my nails too. He does. Uh, yeah, he picks annoying. his nails more before than before. I picks. I have Invisalign now, but I, oh, yeah. I kind of would bite the inside of like my cheeks too. Whenever I'm like. I don't know, it's like the same little nervous tick as, yeah. I guess. If I'm trying nails. not to giggle, I'll still, I still do. I'm trying if to I'm trying to prevent, because you know I have like an, a nervous laugh. You do. So if I'm, if I'm trying to not let the nervous laugh out, I actually bite the insides of my cheeks really oh, hard. Oh my gosh. To distract from the fact that, the, from the laugh getting out, I'll try to cause myself some pain. Oh so my I don't God, laugh. that's trauma. It's, it, no, it's crazy. But the thing is, I if I'm, I'm trying my hardest not to laugh in an uncomfortable situation. So I'll just bite my inner cheek to, so I don't laugh. Don't. I get it. Because I don't want to make it seem like like laughing at someone's like pain. Like right. I'm just like my body just naturally reacts. Like I have to giggle. Like my That's body like won't your let me way not. Of, like not giggle. And I try not. And so I bite. I'm trying to wonder cheek. what else I do. Sometimes, well, I guess this is not gross one. But anyways, okay, let me read this one. My husband doesn't know I hired a PI private investigator <gasps> because I didn't believe him after he didn't come home one night. But she leaves it there, so we don't know the outcome of this. Oh my god! Wait, how are you not going to give us the, the fucking extra information? Girl, we're on the cliff. This I'm is... literally hanging off. It's an active investigation. Ty, what would you do if not I... an active investigation? <laughs> it's still going. It's ongoing. We don't have all the. Ty, what would you do if I hired? A... You found out I hired a private investigator to <laughs> investigate you. I would be scared. <laughs> oh man, that's scary. Me and Ty have a very um, communicative relationship. Yes, yeah, so you guys talk your shit out if we... there's any issues. Uh, yeah, or if we think we talk about it. Oh my god, we're, we talk too much. Yeah, I love it. We're, we're too close. We're I have a great close. example of a very healthy relationship. We're up each other's ass. No, literally, you've, craw you've crawled up it. Literally, sometimes literally. we'll be working together in the house and like, we'll be like, call each other, be like, what room are you in? And, and <laughs> no. Then, or like, and just appear in each other's and, room. And, and like, if I'm doing my makeup sometimes, even though we've been together for three days straight, I'll be like, can you come talk to me while I do my makeup? And he'll do his emails while I'm doing my makeup in my beauty room. That's we're, so cute. We're to gonna me. morph together we into one. You guys are actually one unit. You're one unit. We love each other's company. But it's also why I feel like I'm so close with Tyler too, because I'm yeah. so close with you. And I think that it's like by proxy. We're I a package deal. Totally. But I feel like automatically close to Tyler and automatic like I feel like it's it made sense. Like yeah. Tyler is very much like you. So I love Tyler too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I it's a good vibe. I enjoy it. <laughs> what a crap. Don't. Don't. Don't fucking start. Don't. But no, do I love it. it. Um wait, what was the what was the thing? So if there was a PI PI would you maybe? ever like let's say if you were single, would you hire a PI? If like your your man was acting uh, up. Laura wouldn't need a PI. She is the She's the PI. That was honestly my first thought. I said it wouldn't take me much time to figure this sucker out. Mm -hmm. I would I But would I also want I'm like I feel like I would be too, to be honest. Yeah. Like I'm I'm already very no I'm a very nosy person and like very cheese muscle. Like I like to figure things out. I want to know what's going on. So I feel like I would figure the fuck out if I needed like if I, my man was something was going on. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Exactly. Like I'm gonna find the fuck out. But you know, maybe Maybe she's really busy too. And maybe their relationship is like not as tight. Mm. And mm -hmm, like she mm -hmm. feels like she needs to know more. So honestly, I think it's kind of cool that she did it i mean more power to her right if you feel like there's something like an issue going, you need to find out somehow and if you can't get it yourself hire someone to do it for you it feels very desperate housewives for me oh my god i used to be obsessed me too with desperate housewives um, i was obsessed me too that they, they had a hold of me oh they had a hold of me i was fully like i was immersed immersed in me too housewives. i used to go crazy with the little apple baby that's a that's a soap opera if i've ever Ooh, seen one. it is but it was so like it didn't feel like a soap opera to me Oh no, the drama was heavy. It was heavy. You know, I just got to. I'm. I just finished watching episode, uh, the season finale of season two of Yellow Jack of Yellowstone. <gasps> it's getting good. So it's, it's starting to get like really intense. It's now. kind of a soap opera. Did you notice? It is. I've I've started to notice more as like the episodes have progressed. It's it, definitely soap opera it's a little bit. But it's like I feel like it's a lot deeper, more intense than a yeah, soap opera would be. It's good. It's, it's good. good. I'm actually really liking it, and I thought I wouldn't like it. Cause it's kind of like cowboy and vibes, but like the cowboys are really fine. <laughs> and I'm trying to like the story. I knew Manny would get into the cowboys. Yeah, the cowboys. I'm like, mm. hey, Rip. Hey, how you doing? Me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it for today. That's Zappy. it. That's it. We're re re revealing revealing your guys' sick secrets. S 
sick. You guys are sick. Disgusting. And the fact that we actually had I'm a really the real sicko. Hours, I feel you're like, the sicko. I feel like mine were the crazy ones. It was yours. You, I know you had crazier in that you could have read, but you were being nice. On here? Yeah. Maybe. You definitely had some crazier ones, and we'll ma- we might reveal them later on. Well, I'll screenshot so we can do another epi <gasps> of this. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Let's know if you guys like it. If you guys like a little secrets reveal one, and we'll, we'll do more. Well, we love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, comment, comment. down below. Thank you for all the love. We appreciate you guys. We love you guys so, so, so much. And have an amazing rest of the day. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>